What's up, y'all? Well, I'm gonna do something a little different than I normally do. I'm actually meeting up with one of my subscribers today, and uh, he's gonna take me to his secret sockele hole, which is pretty much unheard of. Anybody who has a good sockele hole, they don't bring you to these places. So I'm very, very thankful to actually be able to go. Hopefully we catch some nice ones and we catch some fish. Thank y'all, gentlemen. Hey, no problem, Thank y'all. That's how we do. No problem, bro. Thank y'all so much. No problem, bro. Thank y'all. Right, y'all be good. All right. Well, we just got out here. Well, we actually been out here for a little while, but I got stuck in the damn levee. <laughs> and uh, thankfully, some locals helped me out. I'm over here with my new friend George. He's gonna show me some tips to catch some sockele in his secret little hole. Say what's up, George. Got off somebody else's line, got a hole in his mouth already. There you go. Look how black it's the one is, huh? Looking for a little mate, man. Oh, it's dog talk dog. There you go. George got the first one. There you go. Good. There you go. Nice one. On a jig. It's not a bad thing when you're catching non tenant sockley and that's your average. Here we go. Well, that's a pretty one right there. Oh, yeah. It's probably about the blackest sockle I've ever caught. Really? Yeah. I know, they're all black. Here we go. Got one. Smells good, too. What is that called, George? Cage of a day, boy. That's a nice one right there. Yeah. Oh, George, you got him another one. We just got soaking wet. <laughs> it rained, but it's cleared out now, and it looks like as soon as the rain stopped, he caught that nice one right there. It's going in the Cajun bidet. So, <laughs> just to kind of give y'all a little idea of what we're doing is any of these stumps or anything like that, that's what we're fishing in. George is over there catching them around about 18 inches or so. And, uh, I've only had, I've had a few bites, but I'm fishing a lot shallower than he is. Seems like he's got a little more figured out than I do. And uh, one of the other things I kind of clue in on too, that's a turned up cypress tree over there. Right underneath it, you know, when it got pulled up, it's probably deep underneath there, so them sock will probably congregate around there. It's pretty cool out here, got a nice little area, a lot of stumps. And that's what them sock lay like. There we go. It's about the same size as the ones we've been catching. Pretty though. Got another one, pretty. So we got a good little bit tonight. What you think there? Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Hey, can't argue that. First of many trips, huh? No. Well, next time we're gonna get some white ones to throw in the mix. There we go. Well, here you go. That's where I almost got stuck. <laughs> we got rained on, but when you catch these delicious fish, What's up guys? I hope y'all liked the video. Um, yeah, I just, he started commenting underneath my uh, YouTube in the comment sections and I pretty much replied to everybody. Um, and he, me and him just got to talking and he offered for me to go with him somewhere to go catch some sockley in his secret little spot. Pretty damn cool guy. I actually really liked him a lot. He was uh, somebody I'm you know probably going to be friends with now. And we're going to probably do a lot of trips together and everything. He's a real cool guy. And uh, he knew his shit. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes you hear people, they don't, you know, they talk and, and they might not know as much. But here and I'm like, he's sitting here telling me this and he's telling me that. And he knew a lot of stuff. 
he had like a little checklist that he went through. He was like, all right, well, I'm not getting any bites on this. Let me shallow up a little bit. Let me go deeper. Let me change the color, the weight of the jig head, the color of the jig head. All that stuff makes a difference when you sockle fishing or crappy fishing. Everything. But when you look at this place, it looks like sockle heaven. Pure stumps. This is what Twin Canals used to look like a long time ago. If anybody that's uh, subscribed to my channel used to fish Twin Canals a long time ago, you know what I'm talking about. But I definitely had a fun time. George is a great dude to go with. He's actually going to show me some stuff. And uh, City Park, try to catch a big, big bass. Biggest bass I ever caught was 4-2 spawned out. So I would be ecstatic with a 6. <laughs> That's just me, though. I mean, I would love to catch a big, big one. And I told him I'm going to hook him up in uh, April or so. And we're going to go out and try to catch some big monster speckled trout in uh, Mississippi. And uh, also take him over here in the summer with a buzz bait where I miss my big 10-pounder. Still makes me sick. But uh y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all like the channel. It makes me happy when y'all do that. Throw me a like. Hit it up in the comment section. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Later.